Let's use Vision Assistant to determine whether or not the colors in a compound ROI match an expected color. This is basically a yes-no style of decision. These little plastic bricks are simulating a circuit board that has been populated with components that happen to be of different colors. And what I've done in the script so far is find the left side. You'll notice that for different rotations, different translations, it finds the left side. I can then find the bottom side and then specify an origin. I then set that as the coordinate system origin for further processing. In this way, I can define my ROIs and they just simply follow the board as it, as it uh, potentially moves around. I'm now going to configure the color matching step. First thing I need to do is define a color. Let's begin with blue. So I'll find a little region right here. Doesn't need to be very large. And save this away. It'll be saved away as a PNG image file. And it also includes some additional information in the comments section as well. Next, you need to select the region of interest or possibly regions of interest. And then it reports in a pass-fail basis whether or not that score was above the minimum match score. In this case, the default value is 750. The highest possible match score is 1000. Now, what I've done here is held down the shift button and then drew the additional ROI contours. So in this case, I get a different result for each of those four different contours. In this case, they're all reporting a sufficiently high score to pass. Again, I'll point out that it's important that you define your coordinate system in such a way that the ROI can essentially follow the board around in any arbitrary orientation. So you have to have already defined that coordinate system and and that way your ROI will follow the board around. Now here I have an example where I've got a missing brick. In this case we see that it's a score of zero and it's reporting fail. Here I have a missing brick down here. This is reporting a fail for contour number four. Let's see what else we have here. This is a view of the board that gives us the possibility of defining a, another color to work with. At this point, it's, it's very important that you give it a meaningful label. For example, I'm saying check the blue color because when you have multiple steps of the same type for different colors, you want to be able to easily see which color is being checked. So you basically do the same process for the yellow bricks as well as the red bricks.